Hi, Alex Forte here at The Art of Simple Golf. Welcome to today's lesson. And this is about giving you width, tempo, timing, and freedom in your golf swing. And it is actually really easy. And it's all about using the right arm and what that feels like to give you that width. It's a very simple drill, but it is gonna combat a lot of issues that I know you probably have. And that is kind of getting too tight, too narrow, and hitting at the ball. So let's free it up. Let's make it easier. Let's get into the lesson. So we want more width in the golf swing. You probably hear that all the time, right? More width, more width. Why do we want width? Well, it's kind of stupid having width all the way through this way because it's a bit of a forced golf swing. However, when we have an overly cramped swing that looks something like this, it really does create too many variables and just sort of accentuates that hit at the golf ball. That hit is not what we want. We want to feel like we're just moving through the golf ball like it's getting in the way, that we're focused on the target and everything is going through, okay? But when we tend to get narrow here, and it's not so much, oh, a bent left arm is terrible, it's just that width, that narrowness that we have. Whether it's with the right arm here or the left arm that's sort of causing it, that narrowness, okay, I'm exaggerating a bit too much there, but let's say we're kind of like here, okay? We're just sort of pulling the arms in that's gonna cause us to do a few things from this point. More often than not, it's that sort of casting action where we're dumping it this way, where we're dumping it there, and then we're trying to shove it through. So that golf swing is sort of what you'll see too many golfers struggle with. Needlessly, shall I say, needlessly. And even if you're a better golfer than that sort of swing that I'm demonstrating, it still can be a tendency if you're not playing much or practicing as much as you'd like or you haven't picked up a club in a while. It's sort of that tempo where we're kind of like this, all right? Now, without getting too much into rhythm and timing and positions, I just want you to kind of have an instant fix with this, at least in practice swings and if you're confident enough to be able to hit golf balls with it. And all we're gonna do is swing with the right arm only. We're gonna do it without a club first, so just hold the club by your left side, and we're gonna make a right hand only. And what you'll find is there's no way you're going to do this, all right? You're not gonna sort of stall and resist and just pull the arm in this way. You're not gonna go that. If I said just sort of make a right arm only swing, you're gonna have that kind of look and feel. That's what it's gonna be about. So, with a club, we're going to feel like everything's sort of working together, that we're getting a nice amount of width. But to make us enable, you know, to have a good chance of hitting the ball, a couple of things have to happen. Width and a smooth sort of tempo and timing, everything, you know, it's almost like a self-preservation thing. You will do it automatically, and that's... You know, that's what I try and do here at the Art Simple Golf is just give more natural um, triggers that you, you, enables you to respond better without overthinking too much. So we want a, a nice wide fluid golf swing just by doing a right hand only, okay? You can even hit, let's try it without a golf ball first. So just put the left hand behind and we're just making a swing there, all right? A little bit too slow there my liking so I'm just going to go a little bit quicker there and what I'm feeling is making sure I'm getting behind myself I've got this width here okay but then I'm waiting for it waiting waiting that it comes back in front of me and then I swing through now I'm going to try and hit a golf ball this way all right choose my target because that's what we're trying to do we're trying to respond to something this way okay so I'm choosing my target left hand behind and now just a smooth swing beautiful strike easy peasy okay no forced effort whatever it might be now what we do is after some swings like that okay feeling that rhythm feeling that sequence 
feeling that timing. I'm going to take a club and do both hands and do exactly the same. All right. And they, I tell you, are the first two swings of the day. A little bit tight, not warmed up properly, but I got nice smooth strikes on it. So if you find yourself being a bit narrow, pulling it in this way, just use the right arm only and allow it to drop down and in front of you. And this does work for the driver as well, but there's a slight little tweak that I'm gonna show you for that. Right, so here we are with the driver, the same thing applies, especially if you're just teeing off the first hole. But I'm gonna add a sort of another little element into this. I want you to get into your golf stance and put the left arm ahead of you on top of the driver. And now I'm gonna make a, a right-handed golf swing, just winding up behind and then pulling through. But what it's gonna feel like is I'm sort of quite a bit steeper and sweeping up on it here making sure for that extra little bit of power, my right arm is kind of passing me. So I'm not this way. Very difficult to come over the top and hit at it when we are in this position. So we're here, there. So that is a wonderful rehearsal and feel, making that arm cross. And that's something you can do at home as frequently and as much as you like, you know? So we're just here making a right-handed goal swing and then through passing that way and even if you don't hit any shots before warming up just do that rehearsal then some right-handed swings just to get that tempo because you're going to get width you're going to get a bit of lag and you swing through okay just rhythm timing smoothness so we pick our shot it's going to be a little fade here intermediate point set up Okay, I'm kind of going to feel that. That's the feeling, that's the rehearsal I've done. So now I'm just going to try and do a nice run, right-handed golf swing, just waiting, allowing tempo, rhythm, and width to give me the power that I want. Missed it a little bit right, but pretty good. Do that. Do the right-handed golf swing. Do those drills with the, the right hand under, okay? It's gonna give you a different sensation. It's gonna give you consistency and a bit more time to hit the golf shots without being narrow, without hitting at it. It's gonna do you a lot of good, all right? If you like this, do that thing where you like and subscribe if you haven't already and ask any questions below, whether it's about this video or the next. And if you wanna get like a really easy 20 extra yards, that you can practice at home without any clubs, just click the link below for an awesome video series. I'll see you next time.